Hey guys, Marsh McGecko here. In the last video, I showed off this uh, my new website, and uh, like I, how I made it from scratch. Uh, this video, I'm gonna actually show you guys how I actually did make it from scratch and how to download the uh, the client to do it. So I'm gonna show you how to do the pictures. This little picture up here. This, this little button. The boxes, and then like color text in the background. Uh, and these links right here. So it's, it may seem a little complicated, but at the end of this video, you guys will probably get it. But uh, right now, I'm going to show you guys how to get the actual client. You're going to go to netbeans.org. You're going to click download. Uh, since we're working with HTML, you can click on that. Or you can just download all, uh, which would be JavaScript along with C++. So, um... What we're doing in this video is, um, is I'm going to show you guys how to make the website, which I already said. And uh, if you don't, if you can't get NetBeans, you can also use Notepad. But I'm going to show you like what HTML looks like. So think HTML as like a person, and yes, this is from Soul Eater. HTML itself being the hair, the forehead being the head, and the slash right here basically ends it. So uh, your work doesn't go cut off to like your other work and stuff so uh, you're gonna end that with a slash so then the body would be like you know the shoulders and the slash body would be like the ankles and the HTML ending would be the foot so yeah uh, the space in between shows how much uh, stuff you're gonna be using in between it's head you're not using you're not gonna be using too much body you're gonna be using a lot uh, these uh, these spaces uh, you're not doing. You're not gonna be doing anything in. So uh, yeah, let's start coding. Um, so what you need to do first is that you need to click new project. You know, wait, um, click uh, yeah, new project next, and we're just gonna name it like um, awesome. Awesome website. Awesome website. So you're gonna click finish. Here's awesome website. So if I don't want Java, you can go into um, awesome website. SRC awesome website. Delete that. Um, and then what you're gonna do is new file. Other. HTML. You do not want XHTML because that's a completely different thing. So HTML. Awesome. Awesome. HTML. So if you want to make your website public at the end, you are going to have to um, get your own domain name. So uh, I've not done that yet. I'm actually going to do that after I get my website like a little better but I'm going to show you guys like the basics and stuff today so first you're going to do a uh, less than HTML and then greater than enter enter and uh, right now uh, we are making this part right here we're going to work on the head this part the head and this entire thing the body so we're going to work on the head real quick so if you want a title, which is th this part right here, like the words there, you're going to do title, enter, enter, and then awesome ISG home. Let's save that. Um, yep, wait, oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I did not mean to confuse you guys. Uh, head. We're going to start off with the head. I'm so sorry if, if you guys got confused or you're yelling at me because I did something wrong. That's why. I am so sorry. I did not mean to confuse you. And then uh, slash head. Let's move this back a bit. It doesn't really matter where the placements are. Just I like to be more organized about my work. So uh, you're going to enter that, and then you are going to do image, 
uh, uh, at least I think it's something like that. Yeah, it's either I am, uh, no, it's Link. I'm so, I'm so sorry. It's, uh, Link. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, stop. Sometimes this can be so annoying, so that's kind of why I think just Notepad also. And you're going to do R-E-L equals icon, because that's going to be your website icon. R-E-L equals icon. And you're going to do H-R-E-F, which is a link. So uh, what you're going to want to do is you are going to right-click on an image that you want. You are going to press copy link location. Control V. Yep. Wait. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I did this last video also. You need to copy image location. I'm so sorry. Uh, Control V. And then this is where your image is. So uh, you're gonna go back here. You're gonna paste it in between those quotation marks. And then what you're gonna do is uh, wait. What did I just do? I hope I didn't mess anything up. Um, <clears throat> seriously, uh, you're going to do image, no, no, I'm sorry, type equals, and then, uh, after type equals, you're going to do image, and then, um, JPEG, image, uh, image, JPEG, now, uh, this, you're going to do, um, I'm sorry, image, uh, M -H -E. I was doing the abbreviation where you should be doing the word, image JPEG. Now, the uh, the way you can determine this is by looking at the end right here, dot JPEG. So all you're going to do is just change this part right here to whatever this is right here. So the reason why I have all these slashes and stuff is because I went into this, um, into Mushroom Gecko, SRC, Mushroom Gecko, and then uh, I have some pictures, and it's in this folder right here. So I'm just basically telling the computer to go to that folder right there and just grab a picture out of that and just slap it on the website. So, uh, yeah. Let's go back to Awesome HTML. Let's save that. Uh, remember to put that bracket at the end. Save that. Let's go to here. Double click on Awesome HTML. And then here's the website. Here's his little logo. Awesome home. Uh, the reason why this is blank is because we have not worked on the body yet. So, uh, yeah. So, next what we're going to do. Uh, let's enter this a few times. Uh, we're going to do the body. So, body. And then, save that real quick. Now, if you want it a certain color, you're going to do BG color equals and then uh since off my sheet like gold or butter you can do gold let's save that real quick um going to here let's refresh the page and as you see it's the color gold so um after that if we're gonna do the the picture thing that we have here what we're gonna do is do h1 h1 through h6 uh, h1 is the boldest uh, letters and the biggest letter h6 is the least boldest and the smallest letters so right here we're going to do h1 to make it stand out with the website title so we're going to go back here h1 and then uh, we're going to go back to mushroom gecko and then image SRC image SRC equals and then we're gonna just repaste that and do that and then the title is going to be um, welcome to the official awesome ISG web website. And then we are going to do image src again equals, and then we're going to paste that link in again. We're going to do that. We're going to save that. 
I'll come back into here, reload it, and here we go. Uh, we have welcome to the official Awesome IC website. Um, now the reason why you want to do H1 there because you're like you're probably thinking, M but mushroom gecko, we're we're not trying to bold the picture, we're trying to bold the words. Because I'll show you exactly what happens if we uh, do the words. So H1, and then um, slash H1. Hang on, slash H1. Take this out. And I'm not sure if I did it at the end. Nope. So uh, let's save that. Go back into here. Let's reload that. This is what happens if you just try to bold just the words. Uh, these pictures go on top of each other, making like a, a sandwich. So what you're going to want to do is H1. Because uh, each one just works funny that way. It just does not like to cooperate that way. So you're gonna put it at the end, at the beginning and the end of what you're trying to put together. So in this case, we're printing two pictures together with the words. So slash each one to end that. And then uh, this is kind of where it gets weird. So we're gonna break it. So slash br. All right, we're not going to do a regular BR, because um, I'm, from all the tutorials that I've seen, I've only seen slash BR, because um, it, you're going to want to break a certain part, not like break the whole thing. We're going to do slash BR, so we're going to break this three times. Um, slash BR, and then once again, slash BR. We're going to save this. And then we're going to make a field set. Uh, what the heck? Oh. So, uh, let's save this real quick. We're going to make a field set. So, uh, we're going to do form first. So, a form, basically... How can I say this? Uh, imagine that you're filling out, like, a form for school or a doctor's appointment or something like that. Like how your parents start filling out forms to, like, enter you into competitions or something. So, we're going to enter something into this form right here and what we're going to enter in is a field set so a field f uh, uh f i e l d set so a field set basically um you're taking a large chunk of the actual web page itself and uh turning it into something so we're going to do field set and then we're going to make a legend which is the box itself so uh so legend would all right. So let me explain. Mushroom gecko. Uh, so the field set. Uh, it's taking up this much space. It's gonna take up from here to here, here to here. It's gonna use a certain amount of space. Now the legend is this part right here, like the outline in the box. So. Uh, so we're gonna do a legend. Legend, and then uh, it's gonna be like. Let's make it like, uh, what I am crazy about. And then we're going to do slash legend to end off the legend itself. And then inside here of the legend, we are going to, um, actually, no, I was wrong. The field set at the line in the legend is the words right here. Sorry. So, uh, what we're going to do is number one. Um, I'm not sure if I bolded. Yes, I did. So, uh, let's bold H3. We don't want it to be super bold. We're going to bold H3. Uh, number one. Butter and then slash H3. We're going to do this a few times. H3 to uh, what should number two be for Awesome Ice G? Minecraft slash H3. H3. Um, what should, what should number three be for Awesome Ice G? Um, Call uh, duty slash h3 
And, uh, let's do one more. H3. Um, number four. Uh, girls. <laughs> and then, slash H3. Uh, and then we're gonna do, uh, end off the field set by doing slash fields, uh, if I ELD set. And then we're gonna save. We're gonna go back to here. We're gonna reload this. And to here it is. Alright, so if you wanna bold this, we're gonna do that real quick. Show you how. We are going to, uh, in between there, we're going to do H1. We're going to bold that to the highest amount there is. And then slash H1. We're going to save. Come back into here. Reload. Here we go. So, yeah. That's basically how you do the field set. Um, I set that to H2 and not to H3. Uh, but who cares? Yeah, H2 probably looks better for that, because you don't want it too, too big. Um, so, H2, so, Control S, let's reload this. And that, that, that looks pretty good, that looks pretty decent. So, um, so let's move this down a bit more. We are going to make, um, another one. We're gonna make this one colored though, so um Alright, so we're gonna make a form again. We are going to make a field of uh, ELD set field set uh legend legend and then um about me Slash legend. We're gonna make this bold. So slash no H2, not not slash H2. Slash H2. And then um here where it kinda starts to get kind of weird. Um let's go back to mushroom gecko. Well, this is, it doesn't really get weird here, but it kind of gets, um, kind of breaks the laws of HTML. Well, not really, because, um, I'll, I'll explain on the way. So, for Awesome ISG, we're going to do font color equals, um, do orange. Alright, I think that's what I did. Yeah, font color equal orange. Uh, control S. Save that real quick. Um, number one. I am a boy that loves gold so much that I... Put it on my toast and thinks that it is butter. Alright, so then, um, after that, we are going to do slash font. So, what you would think it do, uh, uh, slash font color equals orange. But no, um, it's just slash font. Um, I'm kind of confused about that too, but hey, you're not alone. Slash, then we're going to break that. Um, let's make the second one a font col color equals. Um, let's look at Awesome IC's character real quick. So, um, I see red and I see black. So, uh, let's make this red. Uh, number two, I play Minecraft, okay, make the capitalize, Minecraft 
Gary's mad. Um, what else does he play? Let's look at his channel real quick. Um, I guess we can say let's plays. Let plays. Uh, tutorials. What else do you do, Mr. ISG? Um, and let's just say, and other crazy, crazy, ah. Crazy stubs. Alright, yeah. And then, um, slash font, slash break line, or slash break. And then, uh, font color equals. And then a uh, three. I have a lot of friends that I goof around with and do crazy awesome stuff with. So, uh, yeah, so slash, uh, no, slash font. We are going to end it with a slash field set. Save that. Go back to Chrome. And, uh, here we go. Here's orange, red, and black. So I think the red looks better on here than these two do, but, hey, who cares? So this is how you uh, you make the first part, like your home page. Uh, how long have I been recording? 22 minutes. Um, I guess I'll make a part two. So yeah, love wonderful life for the mycelium mushroom. Have a time with the club geckos and keep those gems shining, everyone. Gecko out.